Okay, kids, let's get started. Okay, important theorem, theorem number one. Let's understand this and what this theorem is saying. We'll, we will talk about it. Theorem number one it is, we are going to discuss Rolle's theorem, Lagrange mean value theorem. And before that, we are going to discuss one more important theorem. Suppose f is a function from on close interval a to b to r and f has either a local maxima or local minima at x belongs to open interval a to b. If f is a differentiable at x naught then f dash x naught equal to zero. Just understand this concept and Understand this statement, by the way. What it is saying, suppose any function f a to b to r, function is defined from on close interval a to b and f has either a local maxima or local minima at x naught. x naught is any point in between a and b. And if f is a differentiable at x naught, then f dash x naught is zero. Likewise, it is uh, what the statement is saying. It is given. What is given? First thing, fx has local extrema, local extrema. Extrema means either it is minima or maxima at x equal to x naught. First thing it is saying and second thing it is saying fx f dash x naught is defined. Means fx is differentiable at x, x naught. If it is, uh, if these two conditions are given, then we will say that f dash x naught equal to zero. Means if function has local extrema at x equal to x naught and f dash x naught is defined and means it is differentiable at x naught. In that situation, function's derivative at x naught equal to zero. But converse is not true. It, it is, uh, converse is not true. You can see converse, converse is not true. Not true. You need to understand it. Converse is not true. Is that clear? In other word, if f dash x equal to 0, if f dash x not equal to 0, it doesn't imply that function will have local extrema at x equal to x not. Is that clear? But if function has extrema at x not, and if it is differentiable at x naught, then definitely f dash x naught must be zero. Let's understand it by a, a graph or a curve. Let's say we have, this is x axis, x axis here. And again, this is also x axis. And we have three different curve for the same x axis okay and we have three different function like function has local x ext extrema at x naught this is like local minima here local maxima and you can see one case i am taking here as we are taking as this is neither a point of local maxima neither nor a local minima. It's not a point of extrema. So you can see this is x equal to x naught. And here you can see this is also x equal to x naught. And here you can see x equal to x naught. Is that clear? And now you can see fx has local extrema at x equal to x naught. So in first two case, one case number one, case number two, and this is case number three. So in first two case, we are achieving local extrema. 
and f dash x naught is also defined. You can see in all the three cases, f dash x naught is defined. But in the first two cases, we, we are meeting local extrema. So if there is local extrema at x equal to x naught and f dash x naught is defined, then f dash x naught must be equal to zero. So if you do, if you make a tangent at this point, the tangent will become parallel to the x-axis. Here you can also see the tangent is not a tangent, but in the slope at x equal to x naught, the function slope, differentiation of function at x equal to x naught is becoming equal to zero. f dash x naught equal to zero. You can see here f dash x naught equal to zero in all the three cases. Is that clear? So if there is local extrema and it is defined, then f dash x naught must be zero. But contrary in the count converse, if f dash x naught equal to zero, it would be local extrema. It doesn't work. Is that clear? Any question here, kids? Any question on this theorem? No. No, sir. I hope you correctly. Let's yeah. understand Rolle's theorem. Next theorem, we have Rolle's theorem. And this is very, very important theorem. So we need to understand it very clearly. And if possible, uh, learn it by heart. Okay. Keep remember this theorem and what it is saying to you all. It is very important uh, as a point of respect of board, 12th board exam, as well as for J main as well. Okay. So what is the Rolle's theorem? Let's understand it first. And what it is saying in actual, by the way. Let F be a continuous in close interval A to B. Means function is continuous in close interval A to B. Obviously, we have written A first and B last. So A is less than B. This is obvious. Whenever we represent uh, close interval, from A to B, it means that A is small, B is large. So A less than B. So if let F be a continuous function in close interval A to B and differentiable in open interval, it's not close, it's open. You need to understand. This is close, continuity is seen in close interval and differentiability is seen in open interval A to B. And suppose, f of a equal to f of b. Suppose f of a equal to f of b is there. If these three conditions are meeting, means first it is continuous in a to b, second differentiable in open interval a to b, and third condition f of a equal to f of b. If these three conditions are met, then there exists at least one c. Then there exists at least one c in open interval a to b such that f dash c equal to c. Are you getting it? What it is saying? Let's read this statement first. Let f be a continuous in close interval a to b, a is less than b, and differentiable in open interval a to b, full stop. If, suppose f of a equal to f of b, then there exists at least one c such that c belongs to a, a comma b and f dash c equal to zero. So what are the three main conditions uh, to fulfill the statement of the Rolle's role, role theorem? First, it is saying, first, let's understand it by point wise. You need to understand it very clearly. First is f is continuous in x belongs to close interval. First, first, is, first point is on continuity. And second point is on differentiability. That is f is differentiable in open interval a to b. And third point is, is a necessary condition that is fx equal to 
f of a must be equal to f of b means function attain equal value at both the end of the domain of the function means f of a must be equal to f of b if these three conditions are met if these three conditions are true then we can always get a number c in between a to b such that f dash c equal to 0 is that clear if these three conditions are met then we will likely to get at least one you need to understand at least one means c is not the only one there might be multiple c in between a and b such that where f dash c becoming equal to zero so let's understand it by a uh, geometrical uh, geometrical figure we are getting here let's understand suppose draw this figure let's understand it by a figure draw this figure we have you can see we have x axis and y axis as shown here first of all we have x axis and y axis we as shown here the domain of function we have defined f a to b to some r y equal to fx this is the function so we know the domain of the function is from a to b is starting from a to b and third condition of rose theorem says that the value of function at a and b must be same so we have done this the we have taken value of function at a is equal to f of b as you can see here now function is first condition uh, what rose so rose says that it must be continuous in their entire domain that is a to b so the function must start from a and end at b so if we take any function like this like we go like this we we'll go like this and this like this here you can see or it is continuous it should not be it should not break at any point let's say this is a continuous function from a to b and it is differentiable everywhere the function is differentiable in open interval so function must be differentiable everywhere in its domain so this is a an ideal curve like y equal to fx you can see is this curve fulfilling all the three condition of rules first condition was what is what was the first condition first condition says that must be continuous from a to b it is fulfilling second condition in open interval it must be differentiable so function should be smooth it should not have like this is not like that since it is having some peak a sharp edge it means that it's not differentiable so function should not have any sharp edge and it should not any break is should not be there okay so to be differentiable in open interval a to b function should be is smooth now this is the curve which is satisfying all the three conditions of rules so now rules is saying that if it is possible then there is at least one c at least one c where f dash c is equal to zero what does it imply if f dash c is equal to zero it is implying at x equal to c tangent is becoming parallel to the x axis is that clear so what we will do we will do we will may draw and a tangent which is parallel to x axis at some point so you can see here you can see the tangent is becoming parallel to x axis so this become a c and we got a, a big we, we have found a c which is belonging to open interval a to b any question student now question is that why it is saying 
at least one C. Question is that why it is saying at least one C is there. So for that, you can understand it. If we make, we have any graph like this for the function, this is y equal to fx. Now again, f that f 2x, it is like, we have another function, f, f 2x, like say. So in this situation, what do you, what do you can get at this? There is a tangent parallel to x axis. There is a tangent parallel to x axis. So in this case, we are having multiple C. Call this we C1. This is C2. C2 and this is C3. These are three points where we are getting we are getting <coughs> tangent is parallel to x axis. Where means f dash x equal to zero at x equal to c1 c2 c3 this is f dash 2 equal to 0 so we are getting multiple c any question kids no let's solve some example based on rolls theorem now question is this, verify rolls theorem for the function fx equal to 2x cube plus x square minus 4x minus 2, where minus half less than equal to x less than equal to root 2. Solve this question, kids. Solve it. Take time. Understand Rolle's theorem. Apply the condition of Rolle's theorem one by one. What is telling? Rolle's theorem, let's verify it one by one. So, fx equal to, we know that fx is equal to 2x cube plus x square minus 4x minus 2. This is polynomial function. L function. Okay, so first statement is that we know First statement, we know every polynomial function is continuous. Every polynomial function here, function function is continuous continuous every polynomial function is continuous for all x belongs to real so it will continuous will continuous continuous so it will continuous for all x belongs to close interval minus 1 by 2 to root 2 is that clear why we have written minus 1 by 2 to root 2 since it's given in the question. The domain of this function is given as minus 1 upon 2 to root 2. So we have applied the first conditions condition that is needed to verify the Rolle's theorem that is continuity, condition on continuity. Second, second every polynomial polynomial function polynomial function nominal function functions are differentiable everywhere differentiable everywhere so fx is differentiable 
differentiable differentiable for all x belongs to what we will have here what we will write here we will write open interval minus 1 by 2 to root 2 is that clear is that clear yes sir okay now what about third one third condition what it is required what is necessary condition yes what it is f of a is equal to f of exactly what we will find the value of now a what is a here a means the first number here so you, you can see a is minus 1 upon minus 2 one and b is equal to root 2 here root so two. you need to yes. find you need to find the value of function at a and b so what about f of minus 1 by 2 you need to calculate just calculate and tell me what is the value of it and what about f of root 2 just solve it you need to work on it Let's talk about f of minus half. It is it is coming out to be minus 1 by 8 into 2 so minus 1 by 4. And here it is plus 1 by 4. And in this situation, minus into minus plus 2 and minus 2. It is coming out to be 0. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, what about f of root 2? If we need to calculate Zero, sir. so uh, you need to take the value from here it is if we apply x equal to root 2 here so root 2 q means 2 root 2 2 into 2 4 root 2 it become 4 root 2 and here root 2 square is 2 here minus 4 root 2 and here we have minus 2. So you can say this is also getting equal to 0. So third condition is also meeting. Means it means my f of 1 minus 1 by 2 is equal to f of, root, of two, root 2. And this is becoming equal to 0. So all the three conditions are true. Yes, sir. Now if these three conditions are true. Now Rolle's theorem says that some point see there might be some there exists this means this imply there exists at least at least one c belongs to open interval minus 1 by 2 to root 2 such that such that f dash c is equal to 0 so now our aim should be to find that c where f dash c is becoming zero now till that we have verified the rolls theorem these three point we have very we have just uh, we have just checked the necessary condition required for the rolls theorem now yes. we are going to verify that theorem now how do we verify that theorem by having that like just find f dash x so what should be the f dash x you can see 6x square plus 2x minus 4. How much it is? 6x square plus 2x minus 4. Okay. So 6x square. Yes, tell me. 6x plus 2x minus 4. Now let's have. Let's take two common. So this is 3x square plus x minus 2. And we need to make it equal to 0. So you can, is there a factor of it? You can see. Minus 6. So 3x minus 3x. We can have x square. Minus 2 plus 1. Is that clear? 3x square minus 2x plus 3x. Okay. Is that clear? Yes, sir. You can also have factor of it. But 
uh, we just guess this 3x minus 2 and x plus 1. So it is coming minus 2 and 3x square minus 2x plus 3. Is that perfect? So now you can see what are x? x, where are these, this f dash x becoming equal to 0. So you can see x equal to minus 1 and minus one. 2 by 3. 2 by 3. Is c minus 1? Can we take c minus 1? No, sir. Why it is so? We can't take c minus 1 since minus 1 is not in this domain. So this implies c is equal to 2 by 3 and that belongs to open interval minus 1 by 2 and root 3. Root 2. So you can see we have found that c now. Yes. So if we have found that c, it means that Rose theorem has been verified. If we get yes. at least one c, it means that Rose theorem get verified. So this imply Rose theorem theorem verified. Any doubt kids in no, Rose sir. theorem? Can we have okay <clears throat> any doubt you can have let's have a just of it what we have done in this question okay the question was to verify the roles theorem so we have first check the first three condition one first condition is on continuity continuity second condition on differentiability differentiability and third condition on equality. Third condition is on equality. Equality at both end equality. Now, if these three conditions met, then Rose says that there exists at least one C in between such that F dash C becoming equal to zero. Mm -hmm. So this is the verification, verification, verification. Verification start from this step. So you have done f dash x equal to whatever it is and make it zero. And after that, you will get some x and the x which are in this domain for which f dash x becoming equal to zero become the c. Sometimes in this place, we are getting only one c. Sometimes we get multiple, multiple c in the required domain so that's why it is saying at least one at least one c at least one c condition is bad any doubt kids not at all now question is that let's have another question in which of the following rose theorem is applicable solve it one by one very simple. You need to find in which of the following Rolle's theorem is applicable. These are the four options A, B, C and D. Yes, kids. You need to check first three options. Is is this the ans correct answer? Boys? What is the problem with no, A sir. option? What is the problem in A option? Is not differentiable, sir. Exactly. Where it is not differentiable? At 0. It is saying that uh, mod x is not differentiable at x equal to 0. So, Rose theorem will not verify, uh, Rose theorem will not work in A case. Now, what about B? 10x?
Endpoints are not equal, sir. Endpoints are not equal. Ten zero and ten pi are equal, na? Oh. Ten zero is zero, and ten pi is also zero. Okay, sir. Both, both end are having same, and every every trigonometric function is continuous and differentiable. Okay. What is happening here? You can see there is. 10x is not defined at pi by 2. Can you see? 10x is not defined at x equal to pi by 2. So let's say this is pi by 2. And here we have pi. Even pi by 2 is not in the domain of this function. But it is given that. But so you can see pi by 2 at pi by 2. Function is not differentiable. Even not continuous at pi by 2. So due to non continuous in nature in the entire domain function is the function will rose theorem will not applicable in this is that clear yes sir okay now can we have c option can we check c option look this is algebraic function algebraic function are Everywhere, continuous and differentiable in their domain. Algebraic functions are continuous and differentiable in their domain. And there is no any mod kind situation here. Mod, bracket and fractional part. So this is differentiable and continuous in their domain. So you can check this is continuous and differentiable. Differentiable. You need to check differentiability. But it is continuous. What about f of 1 in C part? f of 1 equal to 2 na? And what about f of 3? f of 3 is also 2. You can see. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 to the power 2 by 3 is 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is also uh, meeting the condition. You, what you need to check in this situation? You need to check whether function is differentiable or not. You need to check yes. only differentiability in this case. So let's say for the C option, we are going to check f dash x is equal to, it is becoming equal to 2 by 3 x minus 2 to the power minus 1 by 3. Is that clear? So you can see 2 upon 3x minus 2 to the power 1 by 3 and it is not defined. It is means f dash x is does not exist or does not exist at x equal to 2. Is that clear? And 2 is in the domain of the given functions and f dash is function is non differential so rules theorem will not applicable in this situation although it is meeting the first and third condition it is meeting first and third con continuity and equality but it is not meeting the condition of dif differentiability that's why rules theorem will not work in this situation what about d option kids yes it is true. It will, uh, you can see this has become a polynomial function. Polynomial function is continuous, differentiable, continuous everywhere. Differentiable. What you need to check? What you need to check here? You need to check equality, equality part. Equality part. Yes. So uh, f of 0 is equal to 0 and f of 2 is also 0. You can see f of yes. 2 is also equal to 0. So uh, this will, uh, rule theorem will applicable in this part so yes, do you want to verify it let's verify it it will not take much time okay so let's verify it i'm going to verify it very very fast 
so it will not take too much time let's verify it so that you will have two example of verification now we are doing verification okay so how do we verify it so just take f dash x you can either expand it or just have difference here using u into v rule so i am going to have u into v rule here now let's differentiate it so differentiation of x is 1 so x minus 2 whole square plus x into differentiation of that that is 2x two minus two, 2 minus 2 and this is becoming equal to 0 you can take x minus 2 as common here so you will get x minus 2 <coughs> plus 2x equal to 0 so x minus 2 and it is becoming 3x minus 2 equal to 0 means x equal to 2 and 2 by two 3. And 2 by 3. Is there any point in between this? Can we take right, 2? Sir. We will not do 2. Why it is a 2 is the end point. So yes, 2 sir. by 3 is in between. So means we are getting c is equal to 2 by 3 which is in between open interval 0 to 2. We have found at least one C means this imply Rolle's theorem. Theorem verified. Any question, kids? No, sir, we got it. Okay, so we have other okay. questions. You can have these questions at home. These are some questions that you can solve at home related yes. to Rolle's theorem. Okay.